Guten Tag, and welcome back to the Fritz Carlton. I'm on this little pull-off on I-84 in Oregon, and uh, on today's episode of the Fritz Carlton, I uh, get the red fence going on and start getting it painted, and the hatch gets done. So production's going good there, and then uh, you can see one of my pumpkins is uh, hanging on the fence. And then I go over to the triplex and uh, check out the pumpkin patch over there and the pepper patch. So sit back, grab a tasty beverage, and uh, enjoy. And I'll talk to you from Biggs Junction where I get fuel at the end of the clip. Yeah, this is like uh, the third or fourth week that Scotty's been working on this fence and painting it. And you can see in here that. Uh, He's got the inside part all painted with the red from uh, High Plains Drifter. That's what it looks like Largo. But uh, check out my Roma tomato plants. They've gone crazy. I mean, they've gotten so heavy that they knocked over their little support cage. I'm going to go and clip a few green ones. I ate a green one and uh, it was pretty good, so I'm going to clip off a few more. But it's getting pretty late in the season and it's getting in the 30s at night. So. Out. <laughs> you got to see the outside of this fence of what he left it. I mean, if you look at it, it's all red on this side, complete red, painted. But when we go the other side, it'll be a pretty amazing little story. And then you can see on the hatch here, he did paint it all red. The, the vines are growing up the fence, but check out this one. It uh, grew up and on the other side of the fence. I found it out. I'll cut it down later on today, but I couldn't believe it. It grew on the other side of the fence. We got a couple cucumbers left over there. You can see the carrots. And then, uh, of course, our one that grew on the table here. And then one uh, grew way over here. But you know, he didn't even paint this fence. I thought that was part of the deal. It's a good thing I paid him up front. And then on the back. The coaster, of course. And then <laughs> you can see uh, he painted it on the outside. And then if you come around to this side and swing, he only painted that corner section there, or the middle there, and left those other two undone. So, uh, I don't know, I'll get a hold of them one of these days when we get back. But the good news is the Red Wings beat the Avalanche 3 to nothing the other night. Tigers are in the World Series, and it's Monday night football with the Bears and the Lions. And then I was cleaning in here last week. Got to clean up my little dust thing and get it organized for the Carlton. But that's as far as I got moving stuff around but she's slowly starting to take shape and got that going for me. I'm gonna go up front and get a picture of the two uh, pumpkins that I harvested. Yeah it's a pretty good pumpkin patch. Got ripped. I gotta get another shot of that pumpkin growing on the uh, other side of the fence. That's hilarious. I just cut her down there before the uh, neighbors try to claim it. But look at that pumpkin patch grew all the way on the fence there. Pretty hilarious. There's our compost, I should flip it over, but we'll see what's up. But then you didn't even paint that side of the fence. Those are two that I just cut off there, they were pretty orange. Put them next to the rosemary and uh, the basil that's already gone there because of the frost. I guess the next big gig is to uh, shut down the water sprinklers and the uh, swamp cooler over there in Dana. So, there's that fence again. And the 
uh, Roma tomato plants. I'm gonna go harvest some to take over to Ed Cats. Hatch. Did a pretty good job on it. Then our escapee pumpkin that <laughs> went on the other side of the fence is hilarious. Had it all boarded up and everything, but that's good. See, uh, Scotty finally finished the last part of the fence over here. And let's see if he got this other side. He got the galaxy fired up. I just got home. So, yeah. The regular red fence. Perfect. He did the whole thing. That looks gravy. It only took him a month, maybe. I don't know, I'll have to rewind the clock and see what he actually, how long it took him. But yeah, it looks good. My bushes that aren't trimmed. The Halloween decoration. I just winterized the lawn yesterday. And Scotty, the handyman, uh, blew out the sprinklers. My pepper plants. Frost bit, but look what Teresa did, the neighbor. She uh, trimmed up the uh, watermelon, tarragon, basil, rosemary, so hopefully it'll grow back again next year. The lawn turned out pretty good. So, go back and check the pumpkin patch. There's like three uh, pumpkins I found yesterday. They're kind of like late bloomers because all the other ones got. So, check it out. It's the Bannock Patch. There's a little one there. It survived the frost. I got this one here. Had a busy night in here last night, moving stuff around, slowly getting organized. It's taking me a while because I gotta go back to work here. But I'm getting there, put in shape. But uh, you can see Scotty's job on the fence, he finally finished it. Painted this one. And then remember the uh, tiger stripes we had over here. Finally got that taken care of. And I winterized the lawn over here and tore out the pumpkin patch. What was left of it? Stripped down the Roma tomatoes. Cats are still there. <laughs> Had to put like an extra couple screws in the hatch. Definitely a lot better than what it was. You can see on the inside of the tomato here. I ripped out the tomato plant. Just shred all this up and then I did get one of the watermelons. Here in Biggs Junction, Oregon, and across that bridge there is Washington State, and that's the Columbia River. And over here you can see windmills, like a farm of windmills back here. So that's the scenery here at Biggs Junctions, but I hope you enjoyed today's episode of the Fritz Carlton, where the red fence is uh, slowly getting done, the hatch got done, and I take a stroll over to... Uh, the triplex and check out the pepper patch and the uh, pumpkin patch over there and then you'll notice the plaid couch is 86 from the Carlton as I make room for a couple leather couches and a couple lazy boys so 
I hope you enjoyed the show and uh, this is number 90 and drive safe and I'll be the same from the Fritz Carlton.